Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page six of Blooming, Chowbella's, one of Chowbella's latest collections. We're going to do a twist pop, and I've, I've got some of my mechanism made, um, and I'm going to remake it with you guys so you can see what I did. I just realized I need one more, one more sheet of paper or one more strip of paper okay so this one's gonna be four okay so four five eleven and three quarters okay so this is what we're going to make. This is going to get go into a card, and when you open the card, it's going to twist and pop. So it closes like this, you open the card, and then you get this. So I'm going to show you how to make this part, this part, and then put, put it together, and then add it to the card. So the first thing you're going to do is cut three strips of four by eleven and three quarters. Four by eleven and three quarters. Now, if you're going to round the corners like I did on these, then you're going to do one of those strips three and a half by 11 and three quarters. If you have square corners, it doesn't matter. So the only thing I'm trying to do is hide it behind here um, so you don't see it. So if you have square, leave it at four. If you round the corners, just trim it narrow enough that it doesn't show after you rounded your corners. And in my case, that turned out to be three and a half. And so what I'm going to show you right now is three and a half by eight and three and a half by 11 and three quarters, four by 11 and three quarters. I need one more. So this will become the actual card that the mechanism is going to go in. So that's it. It's four, 11, three quarters. You're just going to score it in half. And this wound up being scored at five and seven eighths, five and seven eighths. Or you can just fold it over, which is what I did. So that's done. Now we're going to make, so that's the card part. That this is going to go inside. Now we're going to make this part. This is going to be um, four inches wide or the width of whatever you're going to put on these. Um, I decided to use these cards. You could just use, you know, small um, cut panels. They don't have to be those cards. So we're going to, um, to keep it even because as you score, you wind up taking up a little bit of paper. So what I do um, in this case is I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to fold each panel back to the first score line. Do the same thing on the other side. And this is now the point at which you would decorate this, which I already have. So that's done here. So you're going to add your, um, your four elements here. This mountain is going to be in the center. These are going to be on the outside edges. Okay. Now this is the mechanism that makes the whole thing twist on the inside. Let's see this out of your view. So, so far we have our card folded in half. Then we have this accordion. We're going to lay it down. We want the mountain in the middle. And now we're going to do the twist mechanism. Again, we're going to fold our sheet in half. I just think it's easier to fold it in half versus trying to come up and split like an, you know, a, um, an eighth of an inch on your scoreboard. Okay, so that's done. Now the next thing we're going to do is fold it in half this way. You're going to fold it in half lengthwise, and then you're going to fold it in half. 
this way. And I'm just lining up the corners. Okay, that's one side. The corner and my score line. I'm gonna go over here and make sure it's all coming together. It looks like it is. Okay. Pinched it in place. Okay, so you have this so far. You have a cross lengthwise. Now we're going to score crossways. This is where it gets a little tricky, and you may want to watch this once or twice if you haven't done it before uh, to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to fold my paper over on itself. And the light's excellent right now. This score line right here needs to come up to this score line. So I'm going to fold it over. And I'm trying to line up that score line with this score line. Okay. Now I'm going to pinch that lightly in place. Not ready to uh, burnish it yet. I'm going to pick it up. Make sure it's still lined up. I'm going to turn it over, and then I want to see how this is lining up. So I may have to turn, tug this in one way or the other to get my score line right where I want it. And it I did. I had to push it up just a little bit. Okay. Now everything's lining up. This needs to come down just a tiny bit then burnish it. Okay, so these are lined up both on this side and this side. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is go the other direction. Come up, line up my score lines. Flip it over, see how they're lining up. Perfect. They're lining up perfect. Okay. Everything should be going right to that point, too. Okay. So there we are. So now we have a score this way, this way, this way, and this way. Hopefully everybody can see what I'm doing. So now I'm going to push those go out and these come in. I'm going to pinch these side to side, pull, pull it together, and that is our mechanism. So I'm going to go through that one more time. So you're going to pull these two edges in, and these two edges are going to get pushed out. So it looks something like that, and then you pinch it all together. Okay, one more time. So we're going to bring these two, we're going to fold it like that, bring them together so you have these two tails. Okay? And you don't want these to fold in, otherwise you wind up getting this. You want these to come out. So they are on the outside. These two scores go in, these two scores go out. Okay. Now that we've done that three times, I hope hopefully you guys have got it. There's lots of tutorials. The one, the person I learned this from was May May Arts, I think. I think that's her channel name, or no, May May made it. Maybe that's what it is. It's one of the two. Anyways, that's where I learned it from. She's an excellent teacher. So if this doesn't make sense to you, go to her channel and check out what she does. She's got several. I mean, she does lots of different things, but I learned this technique from her. Okay, so there's our pop-up mechanism. Now we're going to pull our card back in. And I do this a little bit different than she, or do I? I, I think she does it two different ways. Installs this and then adds this panel. And I've also seen her add the panel before putting it inside. So I think you can do this one. Okay, so it looks like I might need to trim the tails off of this. We don't want it to stick out past the card. Okay, so I'm just centering it. So what we need to do is find the center line here, and we're going to put our arrow on that center line. Here's my new word. And 
it should be right at two inches and it is so that's my mark now because this is thick you know you've got basically four folds here you're going to need a little bit of space between this score line and folding it over um, just because of it so it's so dense so give yourself a little room at the top close it make sure it, everything's working as expected and it is then what you're going to do is you're going to put glue on the triangle Man, we're having a wicked humid night okay glue on this triangle and it looks like i might have to trim a little but i'm going to trim it after i put it in the cart so we're going to um, put it right on that point and it's hard to tell but i'm giving myself like maybe a 30 second of an inch away from the score line so my card will fold flat now i'm just trying to line it up left to right okay press 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 flip it over this one goes fast because you've already done all your you know adjusting left to right up and down okay press this in place let me give that a second to dry and then we're going to add that So again, you're going to need a sheet of 12 by 12 to complete this. So you use a, a 4 by 12 here, 3 and a half by 12 here, and a 4 by 12 here, which is a whole sheet. So now the way this goes in is one side will be attached to the top and one side will be attached to the bottom. It doesn't matter which way you do it. So let's go ahead and lay it flat. And there might be a little bubble here, and that bubble is because there's a little bit of a gap between the point of your mechanism and the card. And that's fine. The important thing is you don't want any of this hanging out beyond it. So so i got to go look at what I'm doing. Okay. So we're going to do the top half of this one. And they should all be the same length, so you should be able to go right to the end. You may have to adjust slightly. Okay. Okay, so I've glued up here. Now I'm going to do the same thing, glue down here. And I know when to stop gluing because of that line, right? So if you want, you can just put the glue here. By folding this back, you can do that. It's hard to do it on the first one because uh, everything's moving but once you get one side down it's easy to just fold this flap over fold that over and then remember we want the mountain in the middle so when you go to close it you have to train it a little so when you go to close it just push up on those two sides and see it'll close like so. Now I did this kind of fast and wasn't super checking everything I was doing and I can see I'm a little over on, this, on the edge. If you construct it first and then add your papers, it'll allow you to trim it in its finished state and then add your papers. I didn't do that for my final one, but it's another way to make sure that you're, you know, you're right on point um, with nothing sticking out. And I knew I was gonna have a little bit of overlap down on the bottom. I didn't know I was going to have any on the side, and that's because the the cards are a little. I the cards went a little to one side rather than the other. It's a little short here and a little long here, so you can manually trim that, um, which I'm not going to do. Um, but you can you follow what I'm saying, and so in in the case of this one. Um, it's already done and it's ready to go into my card. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, I can see it's kind of on here crooked, and that's fine. Ideally, you don't want it crooked, but it's still going to be fine. This is not the right one. Here it is. 
Okay. Now, as I'm applying it in this case, when you trim it all up the way I, I the measurements I gave you, it should fit in here. Um, this card, because it's four inches and the, I'm sorry, the accordion fold is four inches and so is the card fold. So I'm going to center that. Bring it as close to the score line without um, crowding it so that it'll, it still will function. And what I'm looking for is clearance on left, right, and top. Looks like I'm there. I'm going to put some glue on here. Whoops, this is not the right side. <laughs> it needs to be glued this way. <laughs> so when you're gluing it in, that's what it's going to look like. One side's going to be in half like that, and then the other side's the opposite. Sorry. I better make sure it's... Hmm. I did it in both, both the front and back. Okay, now I'm ready. It's a good thing I checked. Okay, just straightening up the card. I had uh, previously put this together with... Um, glue dots. That's why a little bit of my paper is torn. But. So if you're careful and you're taking your time and not rushing like I was, you're, you're going to get a nice clean card like this where nothing's sticking out of the edges. And then once one side's done, the second one takes no time at all. Then we're going to let that glue a little bit because when you open this card, it tugs on this mechanism pretty good so if you don't give it some time to dry you might just pull it apart okay so I'm gonna set that aside while we look at um, I just had a wave of panic that I didn't push record but I did um, we're going to uh, decorate page six we're going to add this is from the 8x8 collection Again, I think you saw it, but we're on page six. Okay, so the reason I chose this is because it's a rather large mechanism, and I liked the way that all the embellishments um, and the majority of the pattern was off to one side, which, you know, works beautifully for this. So now that I've got this done, I'm going to do a couple of things. One, I'm going to test it. Maybe. It's not wanting to open on me. Something's stuck. Oh, I had a glue dot in there somewhere. Okay, so there was a little bit of glue there that was keeping it stuck. So the important thing is make sure you're right side up before you apply this to your page. So it's going to be in here um, when you open it. It's going to look like this. Here's the balance of the page. So you're going to be able to put a photo here, a photo here. Um, I made this so that we have these beautiful pictures on either end and room for photos or journaling here, although journaling is difficult um, if you've already installed it. If you want to preserve these two spots for journaling, what I suggest is just adding a very small strip, maybe three quarter of an inch, and create a really shallow pocket so you can do your journaling and then slip it into the pocket because it's really hard to write when it's like this so that's what it's going to look like I forgot to do this these should have gone down first before I glued this in but I'm going to trim them trim them to fit now um, if you just put it covered the inside of it before you installed the mechanism you could do it either way. So I'm going to do it this way because I already glued this down. So I'm just going to trim these to fit so that you have something beautiful here when you open your, um, when you open the card. I'm trying to center it and 
So I'm butting right up against this right here, which is the bottom of the mechanism. It looks like I need to make this a little bit narrower. For sure. So that looks like about the right length. Which winds up being just under four inches, which makes sense. I don't think it's directional. Okay. okay, looks good. Make sure it's not interfering. Um, either tuck it under you can't paste it on top because it needs to fold at that score line. So it could go completely under or you have to stop at the mechanism. One or the other. It's pretty. I like this. Okay. Same thing here. I need to put the elbow back there. doesn't really look like it's directional. corner wasn't all the way down and when I say corner I mean like this is up so I'm gonna glue that down too I didn't go close enough to the edge when I installed it I'm gonna leave it open for a second so I don't have to still be glued shut the other two sides look fine it's just these right here and right here okay now this whole thing's going to close and be installed right here. Now I like this, that there's a little bit of activity here. So this is really about, you know, your preference. I'm not a fan of this can. I don't know why, just not. I do like the flowers. So I think I'm going to have the flowers peeking out from the side and I'm going to install it like so. But before we do that, we've got a couple things that we need to solve. One of them is how are we going to keep this thing closed? So what I have planned for the cover is this. And then I have um, uh, a double mat is what I'm thinking of. This and this, which I think looks beautiful. So what I think I'm plan what I think I want to do here is make... Um, a closure that is going to wrap from the back of this to the front. So let me do that real quick. It doesn't need to be, um, it doesn't need to be terribly long. So I'm going to start with maybe five inches by, let's do five by three for now. See, that's a little bit wider than I want, so let's look at two and a half. Okay, I like that. So now what I'm going to do is score it. So this is two and a half by five, two and a half by five. I'm going to go in an inch and a half and score it. That's what's going to go behind the cart like so. 
and it's going to come up and over. So now I want to decide how wide I want my gusset, and I think I want it a quarter of an inch. So I scored at half inch. I'm going to score again at one. I did one and a half. I'm going to do one and three quarters. So I've got a quarter inch gusset here. like that. So the long end is going to be on the top for now and that's because it'll be covered. This will be on the page and this will be on the page and this is going to be the part that reaches up and holds everything together I think. That's my current plan. Let's take a look at how it looks. And of course we can bring it up as high as we want based on the size of this. And then that means we need to cover this with something. I don't know what yet. So I'm pretty happy with that. And you can see there's that half inch gusset. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the back, centered. You guys can measure it, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Again, verify the orientation of your pop-up. So you put the tab on the right side and that when the pop-up opens, it's not upside down, okay? So it's gonna reach over just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in this, this one. I'm gonna try to limit the number of layers between the magnet and the, and the closure. So I know I've got this layer, this layer, and this layer. So I think the magnet will go on here, behind here, behind this piece, and on here. So let's go ahead and glue this down. That is really what the plan is. So I know I'll have a magnet here, so let's go ahead and do that now. And I gotta find some paper to match the oh, fingers aren't working. flying. So we have a couple other choices, but I think I like this one. Bring that down a bit. So I'm hemming and hawing because I'm trying to decide if I want a white mat on this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at it real quick and see what I prefer. Generally speaking, a mat makes it pop. But my hesitation is how crowded it is. Okay. 
you know what? <sighs> Think. Oh, I did that wrong. It needs to go under here. Dum dum. I don't know why I was having such a hard time thinking that through, but I was. So anyway, I need a magnet under this designer paper. And luckily it's humid, so that was really easy to do. Now I'm going to use something not metal to push it in. Um. There it is. Just looking at it, you couldn't see it. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I can't tell where it's at, so I gotta put another magnet down to see how, where it landed. Good grief. It's still right here. Oh. to go down just a tad more. Sometimes I can get the magnet to move the magnet, but that's not happening. I think that's a little better. And here's what I was looking for. Get that out of the way. I'm looking for that to be flat and it was pushed out a little. So I just went down a little bit more. Okay. No, that's the bottom. Okay. So now I'm ready to add this. I want to add it up here. That means I need to put a back on it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's get something on here. This is pretty. from the 12 by 12 and it's the big sheet that has the cut aparts on it the cut apart flowers which at this point in the book I have no idea what pack it came from if it's patterns or background I do try to keep track but the further I go into the book the less reference I have I did try taking a picture <laughs> somebody had recommended that oh I wish I could remember your name if I heard it, I, that's who it is. But it turns out that the package, like I kept this as long as I could, right? It doesn't have all the images on it. So that doesn't help you. It doesn't help enough. It helps you eight out of 10 times instead of 10 out of 10. Or, yeah. That's not very directional. it. Okay, now I'm going to put this in a frame. Thank you. 
Everything sticks. Magnets. Okay, I'm gonna round the corners. Oh my gosh, I need to trim the net. I didn't realize it was so big. Pinch my finger. This is an, also another place where you could do a bow, you know, get out a bow. Whoops, that's upside down. All right, so now I need to do something here. Let's bring the page back in, see what colors I can use. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. We're done with it. Don't try to open it for a while. You don't want to tear it apart. I mean, you can do the flap, but don't try to open the whole twist mechanism. This also doesn't have to be put in at a right angle. If you wanted to tilt it, you could. It just means your cards would come up at a diagonal. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, we'll let that dry. Um, yeah, we're looking for, how about this? Does that look okay? Let's trim it down and take a look at it. Oh, it's not taking up so much space, visual space. I like it. So that's what we're doing. It's okay if it's a little too tall. Is it too tall? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. I'm going to key. Shoot. I'm going to take a little bit off. I'm just going to do it manually since I'm dealing with glue. I just don't want it to stick out past this. So this was a free cut and this was the trimmer cut. So I'm going to put the trimmer cut down because I know it's straighter. There we go. So we do have a little bit of showing here. So let's cover it. Gonna be both sides. So it needs to be a little bit bigger. How about this? I like this. This print's super cute. <laughs> I don't think it necessarily goes together, but I love the print. These go together, but mm, I don't know. This looks a little whimsical. time. No. Wow. That's spot on. How about that, guys? Some days. My thumb hates this. <laughs> I'm sure you all know what I mean.
Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yay! I know it's hard to imagine that from all that chaos came this page. <laughs> Even when I sat down, I'm like, what's going on with my desk? It looks like something exploded. Um, let's clean up. And then I'm going to, um, I'm just stalling so I can open this up for you guys before we wrap up page six. So I'm just going to do a little cleaning while I wait for all my elements to dry. Okay, so this is our closure. Got room for a photo or some journaling or something interesting here. There's our pop-up mechanism. Okay, you can put a small strip here. I'm not going to. Um, if you decide to do that, it's a quarter inch, so you need like three sixteenths of an inch, which is pretty narrow, but but you can't cut it. It's more obvious when you flip this down and less obvious when it's closed, in my mind. Oops. Come on. What's, what's happening? You do you are gonna have to open and close this a few times to I know what's happening. This piece isn't popping up. Um just to train it and then once you do it a few times it'll it'll guide it, it'll come up on its own a lot easier. right this part right here was not folding up for me so once you get it done and you open it and close it a few times train it and then go back and kind of press your score score and everything into place or burnish everything into place um, that'll help train it and it should open up much open and close smoothly so you can see this piece just isn't wanting to fold up so I'll work on that um, Part of that is just like even getting in here and just burnishing it because I want it to fold in and it's wanting to fold flat. It's wanting to go flat like that. So I'll work on that. Um, this can be a wonderful element. It can be very frustrating. So do watch the video a couple of times and I cannot recommend highly enough. May May made it. Um, search her channel for... Um, twist pop and, and it'll come up and that's how I found it and of course there's lots of people who've done it it's nothing it's nothing new um, everybody has slightly different technique that's all okay thanks everybody for tuning in next time we get back together we'll be working on page seven